Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the home gym. And in today's video, we have an unboxing, actually two unboxings, two boxes right there, an assembly, and most importantly, the fun part, we are going to test out some video games with the iArcade arcade cabinet. This is a special one though, because this is the special Retromania Wrestling version. I am in Retromania Wrestling from Retrosoft Studios. Really happy to have been part of the project since it started. Michael Herman and the entire team have put their heart, soul, blood, sweat, and tears into this game. And uh, just a note, this is a pre-release cabinet, and the game isn't ready for this arcade cabinet. Not just yet. Very soon. I can't wait. I want to play it. I have tested it here and there, but I can't wait to play the full version of Retromania Wrestling. And of course, here in the home gym, I like to have things I'm passionate about, obviously, home gym equipment, but also very passionate about video games, especially retro video games. And this right here uh, is going to be a great piece to have here in the home gym. So we are going to assemble it. Then, like I said, we're going to put it together, put it in a spot here in the home gym, and then the fun part, we'll be playing some video games. Now, just to give you a little bit of a history, if you follow the home gym tours and some of the other things that we do here in the home gym, we did have an arcade cabinet from another company. Uh, the build quality, the assembly process, a lot of it was just not very enjoyable, but I have heard really good things about the iArcade cabinet. As a matter of fact, these two boxes here, it's a much smaller footprint than what I had in the previous company's arcade cabinet that I needed to assemble. Also, I don't need to deal with RetroPie or any other configuration. Right out of the box, this comes with 12 games already installed, and you can buy more from their store. We may explore that throughout this video, or we'll just unbox it, assemble it, do all that stuff. We'll see how long the video is. I know these videos tend to be long, so let's get right to it and unbox these two boxes. So I do want to show right here is the bar top, and this is the stand. I have to say, iArcade has labeled this uh, pretty nicely. Also, it says RMW, meaning Retro Mania Wrestling. And like I said, the footprint of these boxes was a lot smaller than I thought they'd be, which was a definitely a pleasant surprise. So here is the box for the uh, stand for the riser. We have the bar top. I don't want to unbox that first because then I can start playing. So I'd rather uh, do the stand first right here. And we're doing a screen recording of the assembly manual for the iArcade stand. Uh, and these, these instructions are much better than what I've dealt with in the past, all the parts you need. It looks like you only need a Phillips head screwdriver, which is really cool, and it shows everything step by step. So there's 16 total pages. Uh, I believe there's like 24 steps or something like that. So we're gonna take our time with this, but let's take it out of the box here and see what we have. And even the box, the way it's packed up is really nice. The tape was really good, and I can put everything back in the box pretty easily that's left over. Bring it out here. We also have a hard assembly manual, but you can download PDF like I did to the iPad, and that will work. Let's shut off the screen recording as we do this. All right, and let's see how it's packed up. Very nice. I can already tell this is gonna be a much better experience. I wanna say this too, there is assembly, obviously, if you have an At Games Legend Ultimate, obviously that doesn't require the amount of assembly that this would. But then again, the footprint of the boxes of that are very large. So I'm not sure how shipping has been handled in the past with that. I've heard people about getting um, their you know cabinets dented or scratched up. This looks like it's packed up very nice and it's gonna be in very good condition. So let's take this right here. We have a box, this is probably the tools right here that we need, and there's the back with the vent thing right there with the arcade logo. And it feels like it's a pretty decent type of, oh, 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 oh there he is. Look at that, oh my goodness, that is, look at that, I almost cursed. Wow. Just kind of that lacquer, kind of glossy finish on it. Oh man. All right, I gotta get it, I gotta put it together. That's awesome, holy shit. Okay, I'm sorry about that, but that was really cool. And there we go, it gets even cooler. Look at the artwork on this, wow. So nice. Look at that. That is super cool. 
And the wood feels like it's a nice uh, quality uh, weight to it and everything. Oh, that's the front of the riser right there. Look at that. I believe that's, I believe that's the front. Man, there's the house hardcore. Very cool, very cool. I'm just trying to put this place so nothing gets scratched at all. Let me put it over here. Make sure everything is good. And we got one last piece here. Let's take this out. I believe this is the back part as well. I don't think there's any artwork on this. Okay, we got two pieces here for the riser. And let's start putting it together. Oh, I wanna, I wanna point this out too, because this was a nightmare. Oh, it even labels it right there. And it has little holders right there. Just the quality of that right there. And also the T-molding is already put on there. I had to put that on the last one. That was such a pain. So these two things right here are gonna be a drastic improvement in assembly. I'm very happy to see everything I've seen so far. Okay, I'm using my uh, shaky handy cam here. This is the, uh, the stand, or you can call it the riser. Very easy to assemble, much like, uh, actually I was gonna say like Ikea, but actually easier uh, than Ikea, and it looks amazing. It looks really nice. The glossy finish on this is super cool. My God, that is, and super easy. I mean, I took my time. I usually sweat like a pig when I assemble stuff. I'm just mildly sweating right now, but that is super cool. So after some deliberation, I was gonna put it over there at first where the old cabinet used to be, but I deadlift, I row, I do a bunch of stuff with barbells in that area, and I definitely don't wanna damage this awesome artwork right here. So I figured this would be a great place between the elliptical and the spin bike. And of course, my good friend Angel had sent me this ECW banner. So what better place than having it right in front of the ECW banner. So that is the stand. Also, you can call it the riser. We're gonna do the bar top. You, you can buy the bar top without the riser, but the artwork on this stand is uh, pretty incredible. And I can't wait to put the bar top up here. And of course, the fun part is playing the video games. Okay, so here is the bar top section. This is the fun part because we have the video game console in here. Let's take this off here, remove it. Once again, I have to say, everything is labeled. Speakers, LCD cover panel, parts, joystick controller, and of course we have the hard copy of the manual as well as the downloadable one on the website that I had on my iPad with the stand. But look at that, look at the way everything is packed up here. I, I assume this is the power supply here. So I'm just gonna follow the, the directions. I don't do that very often, but I am gonna read the manual, put this together. Uh, even the mess after all this is said and done, I can put everything back in this box and I essentially have two smaller boxes to be able to fit into my car and take out to the dumpster. I really do like that a lot. Now I also wanted to point out when you take out some of the boxes, you're gonna have the wood panels. They're gonna be assembled much like the stand Ikea style, but in my opinion, much simpler. And then you take this out and you also have panels here. It just, everything is boxed up and packed very well. And these are the side pieces, as you can see right there, for the edge of the, you know, the two side pieces for that. And, <laughs> look at that. Look at that. How cool is that artwork everywhere? So happy with it so far, so cool. So I know everything looks like kind of a mess right now, but I will say this, the, the detail to which everybody at iArcade uh, did the assembly steps is just incredible. I Even we have a six and a nine on the uh, wood part and it's underlined. So nine has a, an underline underneath it, same with six. Uh, I wanna also show you the LCD panel that is wrapped up very nicely right here. It's gonna go, that's the next step over there. Uh, there's an amendment to the manual too, so it's updated. So even by the time you get yours, like I said, this is an early release edition of the cabinet and um, there might be another amendment, who knows, but they keep trying to improve on that. I've, I've been really impressed. Of course, I am sweating because I'm assembling stuff, but it is a pretty uh, straightforward process so far. All right, notice how I didn't have this top part on here, so I'm gonna have to loosen these in order to get that on the there. We'll see how many we have to loosen. 
to get this into here. Now we are good, and that didn't take long at all, so all we're gonna do is just put this cover on here with two screws. And yeah, like I said, I double backed a little bit, but thank God it wasn't, uh, wasn't too serious. So we just put this up here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, that pinched my finger. That was, I made it harder than it needed to be. And just put this in here. And of course, the exciting screw and everything. And I have to say once again, this has been a very easy assembly. Uh, the only thing that was, uh, you know, a little finicky is there was a sticker on the cover for the panel. And now I have a little bit of just glue on that that I'm not really crazy about the way it looks, but I can handle that. That's mostly aesthetic. So here we go. And next will be connecting stuff to the panel. So we'll see if we can get in there and take a look at that. So here's the fun stuff, connecting the video, which is this auto zoom with the Sony camera. You may not even be able to see it too well, but basically this lines up to the video, this plugs in here, and then we take the power cable and we're pretty much ready to go. Okay, it is all assembled and I kind of committed a cardinal sin by not plugging it in before I sealed up the back, but look at the way the graphics are just so friggin' cool. Here's the control panel. I didn't take the covers off the buttons yet, but man, that looks really good. Looks really, really good. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's turn it on, see if it works. <laughs> Okay, we shut most of the lights off for a little bit of dramatic effect. And let's plug it in right over here. And let's uh, say a prayer that everything works correctly. And I forgot to have this back here. I gotta go back and get the power plug that is hanging back here. Just right here real quick. Go from there, plug it in. I forgot to even see if there's an on and off button on this or a switch. So power, has a power button. There we go, it's starting up. Turn the volume up. There's a volume control. All right, press A to continue. All right, it's pretty cool it's searching for a Wi-Fi network. I'm gonna bring it a little closer so you can see exactly what's going on. You can see my network's right there. All right, we're connecting the network. So I'm still waiting for the verification email from iArcade in order to log into the store and redeem my free game, which by the way, I have to go back in the box, get the manual because the code is on the back of the manuals. So when you get a manual, there might be a redemption code for a free game. Do not throw the manuals out. What we have here is the home screen. You can see recent, all, action. And this does come with 12 games pre-installed. It was really easy once it started up, it pre-installed them. Ooh, Double Dragon. Arcade, Dragon's Lair, awesome. Fighting, Dragon Master, Puzzle, Racing, Shooter, Sports, that would be pretty cool. Settings right here. We have information, login, I can't log in right now. Let's go to storage. And this shows you the storage and the free storage up at the top, which is pretty nice. Wi-Fi, system reset, brightness. So if I wanted to, I can make it a little bit brighter. Bluetooth, that's interesting. So you can pair a device. So I guess if I have another speaker, or anything like that, or some kind of Bluetooth controller maybe. I'm not quite sure. Come out of there. Let's go back. Let's go to, let's see how Dragon Slayer looks. That's, uh, that's been in uh, Sal's favorite game. So let's uh, hit that up. And right here you have leaderboard sword and back right there. It tells you the controls. I like that. Don't need to mess around with uh, RetroPie. All right, let's go volume up. Let's see what it sounds like. Ooh. All right. That's a little loud. <laughs> wow. Very 
very nice. Let's see what it looks like on the... Oh, it's loud. All right, I, I got killed automatically. Let's, uh, all right, uh, <laughs> let's pause the game and go back to the menu. Go to an right game. That, these speakers are loud. Oh, my goodness. Really nice. Look, do I hold that? Hold the button. Go back to the menu. Let's go. Man, it's loud. My wife's not going to let me have it this loud. Okay, let's see. Double Dragon. Let's uh, be one star right there. <laughs> There we go. Graphics look really, really good. Let's, let's do uh, coin. I love it. Player one starred. Let's see what the controls feel like. It's been a while since I played this game. Nice. I can't wait to play Retro Mania Wrestling on this. I wish I could uh, bring up the store, but like I said, oh man, it's pretty loud. Uh, I got to get that verification email and uh, be able to check the store out and redeem my free game, but it looks good. It sounds, the speakers are so loud, my God. So that is about it, at least for now, because this was really just the initial unboxing, the assembly, the setup, which we haven't finished yet. I'm still waiting for the verification email. Once I get that, I'm gonna go to the iArcade store. I'm gonna log in. I'm gonna try to see if they have Miss Pac-Man because that's my wife's favorite game. We're gonna download that amongst the other games, whatever I see in there. And of course, when Retromania Wrestling is ready, which it's not at this time. And of course, people have said, oh, it's not available for my system at the time that we're recording this right now, March 25th, 2021, but it is coming. And the important thing is that Michael Herman and the team at Retrosoft Studios are updating everybody daily, if not multiple times a day on their social media. And it's just incredible to see a developer really update the fans, update the customers and the, and the consumers on a daily basis. Michael and everybody wants this game to come out on all platforms. I do too, because I have a PS4, now I have this, and I have a Nintendo Switch. So I want them to come out for all the major platforms, but they're letting you know each and every day what's going on, and it will be out soon. By the time you're watching this, it might be out. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the game. Let me know who your favorite wrestler is. It doesn't have to be me. I'm going to probably pick, um, I don't know, so many good wrestlers. I would probably have to go with, uh, I mean, why not? He's up here. I'm going to go with Tommy, Tommy Dreamer. That's who I'm going to pick. So really great guy in the heart and soul of ECW. And this is the heart of retro gaming, retro mania wrestling. Also check out games like Fire Pro Wrestling and, uh, you know, All Japan Pro Wrestling. And uh, it's called Giant Graham 2000 on Dreamcast. If you can get a Dreamcast, New Japan 4. These are awesome games you may never have heard of. And if you haven't played WrestleFest, that's what this game here is for. So I, I feel so blessed to be able to be in many video games. I'll say that all the time. I'm, I've just the blessing of having a home gym, having to be able to combine that passion with this passion. It's just incredible. So if you have a passion out there, just follow it, feel fulfilled, do what you need to do, do whatever you can to really make just some kind of legacy while you're on this plane of existence. I was talking about video games. Now I'm getting super deep. I'm going to stop right now. Subscribe, click the bell to get notified. Also go to stevierichardsfitness.com for all the programs and videos, or check out the affiliate links and the codes in the description below. We appreciate all the support. It helps fund us doing content like this and building out the home gym and even getting cold video game cabinets once in a while. So thank you guys. God bless you. Have a great day.